Hi, good afternoon, buddies. And uh, for now, after after ten minutes, we are going to to load this this particular QT four dash twenty five, the fully automatic concrete block making machine into the container, and uh, deliver it uh, to our customer. Although now the situation of the coronavirus is terrible in the world, uh, you know the customer sometimes re require the block machine to be there, to be at their site for the block production as soon as possible. Okay, with this time, I tried to use some some minutes to make a description of this particular block making machine. And what you are saw now. Is the QT4-25 block making machine and it's powered by electric and normally we can equip the block machine to be 3 feet 380 voltage and 50 hertz and also we can you know fabricate uh, the electric elements according to the requirements for the customer from like South America maybe sometimes some area they require 220 voltage both of them is okay So what you saw now, um, here is the block forming area, right? And this yellow part is called the hopper, where we hold the concrete material, and the little we are to be transfer the material inside the mold box. And the, the red one is the, we call it a cut feed. Uh, how to say the cut the material cut feeding system, where we feed the the concrete material inside the mold and for the vibration and uh, over there this one is the uh, is for holding is for the story storing the pallets and supplied by the pallets supplied pallets from the back to the front and this motor is called the uh, vibration motor vibration motor uh, it will supply the, the big vib vibration force to vibrate uh, the blocks and forming the blocks And this part now, because we are going to park it, so normally this part we call it a block transfer, block carry, block carry, and uh, how to see block carrying system. Normally, this this part will be fixed on the fix here. This part, this part will be fixed here. Will be fixed in front of the mold, in front of the machine. So after the blocks. After the blocks is uh, formed, so the pellets will be will be pushed pushed out, and the pellets and blocks together will be transferred onto the you know the block transfer system, which will be connected with the block carry. So the labor will be carrying the vehicle. Normally we we'll call it, some people will call it a trolley or battery, or you know some uh, small vehicles block transfer to transfer the blocks out from the machine to the to the area where you want to cure in the blocks uh, okay here is the mode area is the block mode area right so here is the mold mode box we call it the down mode the jump the, the how to see the the nether the nether mold area is make the bricks right and uh, you see uh, as to the requirements from our customer we we fabricate the litter we fabricate the litter of the of the moat onto the bricks moat on the bricks moat so if you like to to market your bricks or if you market your your blocks with your logo you can tell us you can tell us and we will fabricate the litter and the logo letters onto the bricks on, onto the moat so after compression you will get the bricks with the top surface with your logo so you can do the advertisement for your people to buy buy your bricks and here is the motor is the vibrator is the vibrator will be splattered the vibration force 
and compress compressed mode to be formed the blocks. Here's the handle, here's the hook. You know, we designed two hook will be more you know strong and more safe to hold the the blocks mode. Is the hook. And uh, here is down here, right? This one. This one is the vibration, uh, vibration box, A vibration box, vib vibration case. What's the function of this vibration case? Uh, you know, it was applied the uh, vibration force like, like this. Will be supplied the vibration force to to the platform right here, the vibration table platform. And will be transfer the the vibration, you know, the vibration power to the blocks to the blocks mode. So this one, and this one for the maintenance. Normally you will know, you have to know, uh, you you have to feed some the gear gear oil inside it. But you know, not oftenly. Maybe half year, half year you change one time after you check the oil whether it can use again. So the gear oil. Is recycled. Is recycled. So that means half months you can exchange one time for the new gear oil. And this one is the tension. Is the spring tension. Uh, you know will be supplied uh, the vibration. And uh, I want to tell you uh, tips. So you get to know how to produce the good quality of blocks. Uh, you know here and uh, under as under, right? Under this uh, this mode box, you will put the pellet, right? So after you drop down this mode, after you drop down this mode box, make sure remember remember to make sure there must be some dis distance. Maybe like five mm, five mm of a distance between these pellets, these pellets, and the mold, and the mold. You know why? Because if you keep a distance of the five millimeter, so the time the vibration, right? So there will be enough space for the mold, for the mold to vibration between the mold uh, platform. And mode mode box, but if you didn't keep any distance between these two parts, so the mode will be attached with the platform together with nothing, with nothing space. So the vibration cannot get enough vibration force to the blocks. That is very important tips for you to get good quality blocks. And here. The name of this part we call the limited bar, the limited rod, and the function is easy for you to get to know. It's just for to control the height, to control the height of the blocks. You know, if you plan to produce the height of blocks to be seventy millimeter, right? So after you see, after you see this one, this sink. Is locked with this one, so that means you stop it. You stop it. That means the block height is formed well. And uh, in order to let our customer to can produce uh, the papers, you know, at the beginning maybe they would would like to produce whole blocks, but maybe you know later after they plan to get the paper mode, right? You get they plan to get a paper mode. The paper mode is more thin, right? So we design, you know, the two lock here, one, and uh, here is another one. One is upper, one is lower, one is lower. So you just, uh, you know, to to make the different direction to roll it and get the opposite uh, size to control the different height of the blocks, like hollow blocks and papers. And this one is the motor, is uh, the vibration motor.
the vibration motor will be supplied the power to the vibration box. And you can see our painting. Our painting is very nice, very, very beautiful and smooth. And also we do some decoration to make the surface and appearance of the machine. And especially for the welding area, it's more beautiful. And like here. And uh, compared with, you can see from my video, you can see uh, the painting and fabricating the design and also the pro processing of the machine is very nice. But I want to tell you the real, the real exact difference between our machine with others machines. Maybe the other, others machine looks like the same as our own. But the real diff diff uh, difference between the machine is there, exact there. It's like here. This one will be rolling and spreading and mixing here inside uh like here right so this parts this red parts will be you know take a lot of power to support and bearing a lot of uh, you know the support to mixing and spreading the material and also you know the concrete material is very heavy so this part needed to be fabricated very strong it has to be fabricated very strong, right? So that means uh, if this part get broken, the machine will get a problem. The machine will get a problem. And you know, the difference of our own with other company is uh, this holes, I will show you later, I will show you later, okay? This hose is cutting by the, um, by the, 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 the coin machine, a coin automatic computer, co uh, computer machine. With that machine, you know, the performance, the holes of the here, the holes of the here, exact uh, same, same, absolutely same, same size, no any error of the, of the dimensions. So these parts can be used a long life, can be used a long life. And this motor, and this motor will be supplied, uh, will be supplied uh, the power to push the cut material feeding. And this one block transfer, and this one the block transfer will be transferred blocks out from the machine to the block carrier where you want to carry. And here is the box for holding the pallets inside. So the pallets will be hold, will be you know, will be pushed by this handle. This iron pass will be pushed the pallets from the back to the front. You can see our design and fabrication. And here the sensor, which will be control exactly uh, the location of the machine processing. And also this sensor. You know why the block machine is controlled uh, automatic? It's because it's controlled by the sensor, electric sensor here. So all of the sensor, the, the signal, the signal sensor will be set in the inside of this small box. This small box will be, um, trans, you know, will be connected with the wire, with the wires, will be the with the wires to the controller here inside.
Okay, brothers. Thank you. Thank you so much for for your time to watch my the whole video of the detailed description of this particular block machine QT4-25. Now we are going to load. We are going to load the block machine in, inside the container. Today we are going to load two pieces of the container here. Okay, finished. See you next time.